still April 26, 2021, Big Bear Lake, California area. How you guys doing? So, yeah, we have a little drizzle coming down. Uh, most of this was supposed to be gone a long time ago, but we got a little drizzle. It's 41 degrees. It's not going to get any warmer than this today, so it's a pretty cold day up here. Um, nothing too spectacular happening. The town's not too packed. Uh, unfortunately, this is drizzle, not snow, but still we got some snow last night. That was kind of cool to be out in the snow for a minute. But yeah, this is what I do, man. Anytime we have any weather, <laughs> this is what I do. It's like such an obsession, obsessive compulsive type of a, well, it's a self-diagnosed, you know, obsessive compulsive disorder without any rituals type thing, you know. It's just, I, I love doing it. Uh, any type of weather, any change, like, I can't wait for our thunderstorms to come in. That's going to be pretty awesome. Pretty dang awesome. But yeah, we have to go uh, run a couple of errands real quick. So I thought, hey, show everyone what's going on here. It's nice little, nice gray clouds up there. When it was gray out years ago, it would always make me depressed. Now it makes me happy. I don't know what that's all about, but... Just very light drizzle. Anyway, we go to the post office real quick. Yeah, I know this is like a redundant drive a lot, but <laughs> it's a small town. What am I supposed to do? I thought that was a little animal rolling across the street there. Anyway, yeah, we're in the village. It looks like it's somewhat busy. Instead of going right, we're going to take a left. Actually, you know what? Let's just do a little bit of a drive. We'll go straight up, up Cameron. We'll go up to Cameron and then come back down. You guys are like, what the heck is Cameron? It's a street up at the top above the village here. So if you keep on taking Pine Knot, this road's straight. Dude, come on, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Sorry. You know how I get sometimes. Sometimes. I'm only human. Not quite perfect. Just about there though. place I ever got stuck up here was coming up here someone got stuck in the middle of the road while I was on this big downhill area coming up and like they just stayed in the middle of the road I have it on one of the live feeds it was Thanksgiving two years ago it was crazy it was crazy and then funny enough like the person who, who helped me happened to be someone who watches this channel and so he was super stoked <laughs> he was like oh my god so he was a big dude and he like literally pushed my car out of the freaking snow berm. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. So that was cool. But yeah, it was right. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think I started to see him right over this little hill, right in the middle, right there. And I'm like, uh Oh, and I kind of barely tapped the brakes, but I lost control a little bit and I was going to hit them. So I intentionally turned to the right, right here and went into the huge snow berm. So I wouldn't hit them. Um, so it saved us both, but I got stuck and I was not happy. Um, you know, 
and then I apologized to the people who were stuck because I got pretty upset and uh, I felt so bad about it because you know what dude they were tourists up here in a two-wheel drive car and it's not like that was what they wanted to do is get stuck I just got really upset and then I felt bad and I like profusely apologized to them you guys can see it all like it's a uh, you know yeah once again we are human we make mistakes um, it's just it's important to be cognizant of it and try to try to identify it as it's happening so you can catch it and then change that that negative energy back into your good energy that you're trying to develop every single day because all it takes is one one little judgment setback type like that that's gonna um, really really possibly destroy all the effort so um, it's just not worth it you work so hard to stay positive and uh, and visualize your future and feel it like you, you just can't have negativity come in and it's 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 not easy like even a long time I, I've been doing this a long time and like like uh, I'll go weeks without doing it what I should be doing and then within those couple weeks I feel exactly like I used to feel like just horrible miserable down so it's uh it's it's a benefit it's worth it to try to focus on positives and be in that state of creation as much as you can because you know what you think about you bring about no matter what I don't care what it is look at some some you know some of the technology or you know just uh, man, it's 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 just so advanced it's like stuff that you would think humans couldn't ever think of and and but they did and they created these these things that were just so uh, just impossible to even think about creating. Let's put it that way. But they made it happen. So the fact is, is that anything's possible. Literally, if you can think it in your head, even if you've never seen it in reality, if you can think it in your head, you can bring it about. You can make it. You can make it a reality. You can manifest it into your current existence. You really can. And I, I'm I'm just you know. This last weekend really helped me out. Really helped me out. I got to spend time with people who I actually feel love me. And that was absolutely amazing. Like, amazing. I I didn't want to go because I'm, I'm such a nervous wreck around a lot of people. And I didn't want to go. But I made myself go because I knew that it, it could have such a huge benefit for my emotional well-being. And so, for me, I jumped out of my comfort zone and took that big risk. For me, it's a big risk because I, I just don't like being in groups of people. I don't. I used to. I don't anymore. I get really anxious. Um, I felt so comfortable there. Like, I could sleep and, I, you know, it was just it was just a beautiful thing. But, yeah, just just always, 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 always give yourself a chance. I'm, I'm tired of just not... You know, focusing on being a better me 100% of the time. 90% of the time is cool, but I mean, 100% of the time would be, you know, what I want. And some people tell me, like, don't be so hard on yourself. You're doing, you're doing a good job. But honestly, like, I have such high expectations for myself because I want to be something worthwhile for the people around me. I want to be valuable. I want people to feel value in me. Because that's what I'm about. You know? I'm about giving hands up, helping people. I don't believe in handouts, but I believe in hand ups. Handouts never help anybody. The, all you're doing is just in, enabling them, making it worse. And then somehow pointing the finger at other people who don't want to enable people because they actually want to see them grow. And making them feel feel bad so um, if it's like <laughs> um, you need to get rid of your sins or something like go to church but enabling people is not good you know for instance homeless people the best thing you can possibly do is offer them a job you know if you have that ability and I guarantee you most of them would probably bust their ass, man. Because I bet a lot of them do not get 
get chances because of that stigma. And like, dude, it's it's not fair. It's bogus. It's ridiculous. But um, it is what it is, man. It, it is what it is. We all have stigmas against us. And it, it's it's just life. It's just it's just what it is. Just deal with it. But unfortunately, people try to be offended as much as they can, and like, dude, that just takes so much energy. And and the the bottom line with our health, all human beings' health, is the only thing that causes any kind of uh, imbalance in our body to create illness, stuff like that, is stress. That's it. Everything stems from that. Every illness that we have stems from that. Just stress. Isn't that incredible? And it's not me just just saying that. It's 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 guys like Wayne Dyer, Joe Dispenza, people like that. I mean, it's 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 very uh, very very true. But this damn thing's a struggle, guys. Shit. Anyway, enough, uh, Doctor Phil. I just love talking. I can't shut up. Especially when I feel like I'm sharing like pure gold <laughs> because it's stuff that has helped me and it's not just like I'm saying something because I heard it it was good it's stuff that I've implemented and I've gone through so I can speak on these matters you know the people that it's yeah I love it when people are out there trying to help other other, other people but what's what, what gets frustrating is well hang on a second I got a phone call. <laughs> excuse me I miss you guys. You guys are like, oh my God, I miss you guys. Oh, look at that, look at that. What am I pointing at my face? We wanna look at beautiful stuff. <laughs> oh gosh. Seriously dude, this weekend was so much fun and I met like the most beautiful girl. Oh my God, and she's exactly my age, like one month younger than me. You know when you hug somebody and it's like super, super tight and it just feels like so warm and just like, I, I, I don't know, like you're in that fetal freaking safety position. Like it, it's just, man, man, it was just, I don't know, man. As soon as I hugged, it was just, like, wow, that's just such a good feeling. But when you're hugging someone when you're in the middle of a an outer body experience, like, yeah, it's sensory overload and it, it it was amazing. Like I'm telling you, dude, just the touch. Just the touch. It's like, oh, oh I like it a lot. Yeah. So we're gonna go camping soon. I'm looking forward to that. All of us and uh what we did this this weekend, as I said last night, we went to this uh, party called Burning Rock in uh I'm just gonna drive through. Bear parking lot. Oh no, we're not gonna drive through the parking lot, it's closed. Dang it. Uh, Burning Rock in Yucca Valley in the desert. It's a it's a weekend event. And <laughs> after the fact, I didn't realize how unsafe it was. And thankfully, when we started to, you know, uh, uh, time travel <laughs> or whatever you could say, we were like, dude, we need to get out of here and just, and just go back to the Airbnb. We rented the freaking biggest Airbnb. It had an airplane on the property and everything. It was just beautiful. Absolutely spectacular. Probably like a five acre property. The house was humongous. Um, yeah, it was just beautiful. It was just, it was just beautiful. But uh, yeah, so we went back there and just, just sat in the jacuzzi and just stared at the stars and, and just, you know, tried to help each other work through, uh, work through some things, man. Having friends that actually care. Like it's just, I never thought that was possible because I've, I've never really had anything like that. So I always believe that the only love you're really gonna, you know, feel good about is your, is the love from your blood family. Um, and I'm learning a very big lesson in life right now that uh, I've been not giving myself a chance to be vulnerable enough to get that type of love, but I'm ready. It's all good. Look at how beautiful the course looks. Oh my gosh, it opens May 1st. I can't wait. Look at that. Unbelievable. What a beautiful golf course. 
May 1st, baby. Not too much longer. And then I suggest a lot of you who come up here, even without kids, our new location for the zoo, I've heard good things about it. And uh, it's right here on the left-hand side. There's a bunch of people there today. Good for them. See, it must be a great zoo if it's 40 to 39 degrees now. 39 degrees and a bunch of people there. Here's the ticket booth and everything. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. Hang on a second. I gotta take a call. Yeah, guys, seriously, like, I, I please understand, like, the, I, I talk about this stuff because I feel comfortable with you. That's it. That's it. And I just want to share my experience, strength, and hope with you guys. That's it. And if I can help you guys, then my job is done. I love you all and have a great rest of your day.